I'm logged into uh, QuickBooks Online Plus. This is uh, your latest 2014 version. And if you have uh, QuickBooks Essentials, it will also look the same. This one starts with uh, gear. Right here is a gear. And the plus sign. And then on the left side, you have a navigation bar. Let's start with gear. So this is like uh, your under the hood, back in uh, side of settings. So let's click gear. And this is where you will see settings for the company. So if you want to make any changes to company or if you want to make changes to sales form or uh, uh, any changes to uh, products and services, time tracking. So this is where you go, company settings. And then you have chart of accounts. They have a basic chart of accounts probably already set up. And then if you want to add or modify it, this is where you go. And list, so this is where you have uh, products and services that you use for invoicing your customers. And if you have inventory, uh, also part of products and services. So if you have inventory, it will track inventory. And when you sell it, it will take out inventory and uh, recognize as revenue and also recognize cost of goods sold based on your cost setting. And on the tool side, you have uh, uh, import data. You can import chart of accounts or some of the stuff from desktop. And you can also uh, export data if you need to. And then reconcile. This is the one you use for bank reconciliation. And if you're into budgeting for 2014, so this is where you go, budgeting. And audit log is where it will track all your admin stuff when you log in or make changes it will log in here it will record all the changes uh, by time and everything and your company side this is your basic account it's your account setting so if you want to make a changes or upgrade it this is where you go and manage users so that if you want to give access to uh, your staff or if you want to give access to your accountant so this is where we go and feedback if you want to give some feedback good or bad to, into online this is where you go and if you want to switch company if you have more than one company this is where you go and this is where you sign up so that's that's all about the gear thing here uh, the most important thing on this one you will be using is the product and services and company settings these two probably you will be using the most. Company setting is pretty long. Perhaps products and services is one time setup. And once you use it, then you don't need to uh, mess up with this again. So, so if you have new products, this is where you go. Okay, so we'll go back to home again. Uh, and this is where, this is the product side. This is the plus side. So this is where you do into all the transactions, it's like a form, so you draw all the transactions right here. So for customer side, if you invoice, if you need to invoice, this is where you go. And once you invoice it, when they pay you, the, you, you go to receive payment. And then, uh, depending upon how, the, how your account is set up, receive payment and then make deposit if it, if it first goes to undeposited accounts. So invoice, customers they pay you when they pay you it will go to undeposited funds and then you go to bank deposit and you will transfer from undeposited funds to your bank account and if you're using estimate this is where you go and on the, on the vendor side uh, you have expenses check bill pay bills so the expense it is for recording all the transactions, banking transactions, withdrawals, ATM, debit card, and also if you have credit card, this is where you go into all the credit card charges, and check, if you are writing check and printing check, this is where you go, 
and bill is is a vendor entering vendor bills and and setting up for uh, paying bills later on you get bills and let's say you want to pay within 30 days this is where you go and pay bills once you have set up bills here you pay bills here and if you're receiving purchase order this is where you go and if you have received a vendor credit when you did the bill so this is where you go and and when you enter credit card charges sometimes credit card it will give you credit so this is where you go and if you have paycheck set up with online uh the quick pops this is where you go and if you have time time tracking on on then this is where you set up all your single time and weekly time see this is where you fill out and on this side the other this is where you do the bank deposits and transfer from within bank accounts from checking to savings savings to checking this is where you go and zone entry is if you, if you know about zone entry debit and credit and uh, uh, most likely you will be using these uh, and these more but once in a while you may have to write zone entry at the mountain or your end so this is where you go and if you want to print some statement so that's this is where you use it so it's basically plus is to is like a form where you record all the transactions and if you need to do any search so here's your search account this is source transactions whatever you enter in here you can do search in here if you need to in the future and this the sign is basically all the recent transactions it will record in here up to five or ten transactions it will just put transaction review of your transactions and on the uh, on the navigation bar so you have home it's always click home it gets to there you have all the home page in here and the customer records and the vendors so this is where all you will see all the vendors and the customer size this is where you see all the invoices uh how they're doing how much they owe you uh when the payment is due the vendors vendors same thing entering bills and how much you owe them and employees if you have payroll set up you can use this one and your transaction side all the transaction from here you have some sort of records in here so the banking sales expenses and any transactions you enter here it will go to register so you will click register then you can see the uh, transactions and if you need to print checks when you do the uh, bill pay bills if you want to print all right here check then come here and print checks and on the report side you have all the reports you need you click in here and they have uh, all the reports set up in here custom reports and basic profit and loss balance sheet and if you need to find out what reports they have you just click in here it will list all the reports right here right here so click here you see all the reports and uh, if you charge sales tax it goes in here and the apps if you want to buy apps compatible with this offer you go in here you can buy it you have to pay separately it's uh, it's it's your subscription plus you have you have to pay for the apps so uh in any sense this is your this is this plus sign is for it's like a front end thing this is where you record all your transactions and the gear is like a back end back end thing it's under hood stuff so this is where you go and the navigation bar this is where you have all the basic uh, uh, records the customers record vendors records employees records and transactions you make and all the reports so basically that's about it so stay with the gear plus sign and the menu bar so that's it do it thank you